Today I saw God, and my first thought was not to reach to my mother's hand, but to reach into my bag and find a cigarette to light because I felt like it might help me find my way in the overwhelming, looming shadow of the universe. I watched as an oracle turned into a goddess whose head glowed with the power of the earth as she swayed back and forth to the light of something I could not even perceive. It was amazing because the music I was hearing I had never heard before and the way that I had heard it I had always thought that it was amazing and brilliant but not to the extent that there was something hidden there so powerful that it knocked me against a wall and broke the chair I was sitting in. I channeled it and I drew something fantastic and I'm not sure what it is and I'm not sure what the smudges mean with all the ink but I know that they mean something magical. I think I have seen the universe. And I cannot look at it anymore. I walked down the street today afterwards, listening to music, trying to drown out anything, but nothing came more to my mind than the lines that I had just heard over and over and over again. I think that Kendrick might just be the prophet. I think that in that album there is God, and I think that in the man I didn't talk to in the asylum was probably God too, and that the butterflies are coming, and I know that they are, because I wrote it down, because there are so many errors in the notes that I wrote, and you can't really understand them, they're mostly just scribbles, and they're incoherent, but every time I miswrote a word it spelled something else, and he's coming back, and I know he's coming back, and there are things happening all around us, and we just need to wait, you see. We just need to wait, but I asked if I should go to the house this weekend, and I'm not sure if the answer was yes or if I wanted it to be yes. Am I channeling God or am I channeling my own insanity? Am I watching somebody's mind break or am I watching it expand far, far away from what I can see? And it's still here. God is no longer in that room. God left at some point, and I'm not sure when, but it's still there in me in my hands and I have to, to write it out and I don't know how to and I see all these women over here and they're staring at me. They're like the audience, the demons that are sitting in the empty chairs that are looking at me but they're not judging me, they're laughing because I can't get rid of them. They follow me around like this heckling all the time and I, I see the women and, and they, they judge me. The demons don't but they do. They judge me because of the art that I have not created, the things I have not accomplished in my youth. I am and I've only lived for 16 years and already I feel like such a mission boy. And there's the timer to keep me from continuing that horrific line of thought. Anyway, um, 